black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well today. Uh, I'm all right. <laughs> Mildly stressed, but that is the life of a you know, struggling food clown YouTuber. So there's that. But uh, it has its perks. Uh, one of them is these tacos that I get to eat here and, uh, you know, make a little money for doing that. So it's really not that bad if we if we look at it, you know, from, from a top perspective here. So I got to get out of my bitch ass self and uh, just have, uh, have some tacos and talk about some things. So, okay. But before we do that, we must, of course, pour up all. Got the Berg. This one is the one that took down the Titanic. Hello. You can see Jack and the other chick floating around there, hanging on for dear life. Rose. Rose, really let him go. Fucking Rose. Rose. Fucking Rose. How do you guys feel about rosé? That's a wine, if you didn't know. And this is a fine wine, too. It's a Diet Pepsi. It's a fine Diet Pepsi wine. And we'll taste it like a wine connoisseur upon our first sip. We will. Um, so. My hope is, though, that uh, the Pepsi, or well, this fine rosé Pepsi doesn't let me down like Rose did Jack. You know what I mean? So. See? Got the Berg. Fountain of Youth. Look at that bird today. I told you it's the one that took took him out. Ooh, yeah. That tastes like the sapphire hope diamond that Rose also threw into the ocean. As well as Jack. What a crazy lady. All right. We got tacos. Six hard shells. And I'm here for it big time. I got my own sour cream, 14%. None of this 2%, 5%, whatever percent. You got to have 14. The gold's a little extreme. It's 18. You know, it's legal sour cream, but... The 18 is a little thick for me. A little too many C's on that one. But anyways, I got my fork today for it because I've misplaced my spoon. Uh, I also brought, weirdly enough, I was just at Walmart. I just went for a little cruise and we're going to talk about that. But uh, I bought some like almost like burger sauce by Hellman's. Anything Hellman's is pretty good. Have a look at that. And then this like ch smoky chipotle sauce. And I don't know why, but I was just like, eh, maybe I'll try a bite. So those might make their way into this video at some point. But I saw them and, you know, I'm a sauce hound. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, this is uh, the house sauce from where I got these. This is a place called Taco Time. I know that they do exist in America as well. And uh, I love Taco Time. It's super, super good. They actually put substantial amount of fillings into their tacos so I'm here for that because that's you know sometimes Taco Bell is just acting up you know what I mean it's just like I get it you're cheap cheap and easy just like me but I am cheap and easy but cheap and easy like me they just don't give you what you pay for you know up close and personal hello invading your personal space With Taco Time, you truly get what you pay for. So you do it up good. Lots of everything. Mm. 
No. I don't like it when giblets of ingredients, fillings, get into my sour cream mixture or my sauces. Mm, so this is so, so good already. Now, because I'm a crazy man, a wild child, if you will, I am going to try this chipotle sauce on here. And I don't know that it's going to be very good, but only one way to find out, right? All right. It's got a nice little, uh, little kick to it. A little too smoky for my liking, but it does say smoky on the bottle, so kind of, you know, that's to be expected. But I don't know. I can taste like um, the fake, like the oils in it. You know what I mean? Like the very like. Just whatever that fake oily thing is. Okay, Big Mac. Why did I say Big Mac? Well, it is like a Big Mac sauce. Hmm. One more for good measure. But once again, like those oils I can taste those oils I don't know how to explain it it happens a lot in like craft dressing too I've noticed it's just like these oils that taste very kind of off all right Let's load this B up. So yeah, I just went on a, a mission. If you've ever uh, seen that video that I did a long time ago, I talked about how I got a DUI back in the day. And then I moved to Toronto and all that. Um, after a lot of years, I've finally got my license back. And able, I'm able to cruise now, and I gotta tell you guys, like, the freedom, I'm, fuck, I, I forgot how the freedom of driving. I'm just like, how incredibly therapeutic going for a night cruise is. Especially when, like me, like I'm making, I make music and I'm making a song right now that's I'm loving. I think it's gonna turn out so good. Can't wait to drop it on y'all. But um, I do the like the car test, so like I'll I'll kind of work on a mix. And then go for a night drive banging in the in the whip and see how it's sounding see where it needs tweaks things of this nature so i just did that and like that felt so good like i went and i sat at this um like like scenic outlook over the city I 
just kind of vibed out and then I like had my cameras with me and stuff and I was like maybe gonna shoot like a something for the channel but then it just started getting in my feelings and I started getting all like stressed and emotional because just I, I I don't want to go too deep into it but I promise you being a like doing this and being a youtuber and stuff it's very it's actually very mentally stressful a lot of the time and I carry a lot of that weight and I just get very like frustrated and it's very difficult like sometimes and tell me if you do this at all or if it's super weird but I don't find it weird I find it helpful but I'm the type of person that I'll like I'll vent out loud to myself just because I need I need to hear me say it out loud to have it like get out of my head and out of my body otherwise it just stews in my head and like it doesn't go anywhere so it's like I so I'm like sitting in the car up there and I just start venting to myself out loud in the car and then the whole time I was thinking like fuck I should be recording this but then my thought was like no why would you do that like no one comes to your channel to see you like melt down you know what I mean like we've established what this is like there's you know it's a It's a food-based thing, an eating show, uh, relaxing stories and things like this. And So I was like, no one wants to see you in your feelings being bitch-made and like, just let's, let's not do that. But it sucks too, because like this channel used to be a place where I could come unload, de-stress, vent, share my innermost. But somewhere along the way, I don't know, I used to feel safe doing it here, but... I just don't know if I do anymore. It's like, I'd love to share those raw moments with you, but then it just, it throws off the consistency of what this thing's about. Like if you just have videos in, interspersed between like your thumbnails of just you like ranting or sitting in a car ranting or just sitting and ranting or talking or whatever, like, I don't know. I feel like that's just like another thing. Well, I guess on the topic was the reason I was in my feels and feeling type of way was basically as of late, it's been a trending theme across my channel for, for forever, really. But as of late, I've had a lot of people in my, in my DMS just being like, yo man, like I don't understand why you're not at the top of the charts. Like in, in the, at least in the top tier, like hang, like hanging with some other people in terms of like your success in this arena and they're like your channel is just like leaps and bounds of ahead of other people who are just finding so much success and i'm like yeah man like <laughs> totally it's like I, I don't get it either but i try not to complain about it i try not to bring it to light i try not to be butt hurting in my feels about it publicly Privately, that's another story. I stress 24-7 about this channel, about, you know, why I can't get on a level. Doing YouTube is a full-time stressor. Trust me, you don't want this life. You might want... I'll say the life of like a successful YouTuber 
that's like a nice life because at least you're being compensated for your level of stress and the the constant hours of of thinking planning doing all the things like when you're not being handsomely rewarded it's very stressful and then you ask yourself you know how long can i persevere how long can i do this how long until i just throw in the towel like i don't know i don't want to not do it i in fact wish i was more successful so that i could take it to the level that i want to take it but unfortunately i'm not there so i can't do that i just don't have the resources and the environment to really take it where I'd like to take it to provide even better value and more content and recipes and all the things, everything. But, uh, I'm just in a certain position right now that this is the best I can do. And I think it's pretty damn good compared to other people, but yet they see greater rewards than I do. So, Anyways, that's just a bunch of people were reaching out to me on my DMs, essentially being like, yo, I feel for you, man. Like, this is bullshit. Like, how do we get you bigger for more things than just like the eating, just for just being open and personable and stories and maybe funny and the cooking videos and things like that. And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't have the answer. Like YouTube's a lot of luck, but it is really a lot of luck. So yeah, so I find myself in this car just venting and ranting to myself out loud. But I just, and I'm the type of person that I sometimes, like, I I find that very, very helpful. Even if it's just to myself, I just need to get that weight. I need to speak the words. Like, even if it's just falling on my own ears, man. Like, I need to just get those words out of my body. Because otherwise, they just feel so heavy and toxic and gross inside of me and it'd be nice to do it to the camera and share it with you guys and be super vulnerable like that but I don't know man somewhere along the way I think maybe the reason I don't want to do it is because this is a space where you guys are supposed to be de-stressing and relaxing and I kind of don't want to bring that energy to your world but at the same time on my side it'd be it's it's like it'd be nice to have the ears definitely be nice to have the ears because it's like where do I go now to vent (laughs) so I don't know it's tough and then of course there's going to be most of you would be non-judgmental and supportive of my my you know my truths and whatnot my stresses but there's also going to be the handful of judgmental people who are like told you so (laughs) you fucking suck like just shit like that you know what I mean and I don't give a fuck about a single human being acting a fool like saying some dumb shit towards me because like I know who I am I know myself I'm always going to continue to do the things that I love because that's what I love and if I'm not going to do the things that I love then I might as well just be dead because fuck living a life where I don't live in like live in love or live in goosebumps like I'm trying to live in goosebumps I'm trying to do things in my day that actually make me feel like fulfilled and stoked like no random human on the internet with like no profile picture just saying words who has never taken a risk or done anything they're just behind a keyboard telling me shit about myself that they don't even know about me like will ever stop me like I don't give a shit it's just annoying that they even have the option like they have in this free world 
of you can come and say whatever you want on a video, it's annoying that they even get the option. You know what I mean? Just because it's unnecessary, like self projection from their insecurities to you. And so it's like, it doesn't matter. It's just annoying that it's even there because it makes me feel like sad for that person that they're existing in this vibrational frequency of of just hurt and like lack and desperation and like or just you know non-belief in themselves but and don't get it twisted about me like that's not how I feel about my channel I believe in my shit I feel that my thing is I'm frustrated. That's it. I'm frustrated by effort put forth and getting like my just do my my proper returns. And I feel like I'm being um, shortchanged in my effort put forward if you will so that's my only thing like i still fuck with myself a hundred like i know my mission i know my goals i know i know everything about like what i'm doing like you can't you can't fuck with my energy like that but it's more just the frustration of not getting the return on investment basically roi Gary V shit. Fuck, I didn't click. Gary V shit, you know? But uh, I'll always push on, always persevere. It'll all be fine. Sometimes you get in your feels and you just got to be a little bitch about it for a bit. You got you to gotta say your shit out loud and then realize you've come this far. You might as well just keep pushing on your path, you know? If you love it, then just do it. Like, Ain't nothing to it but to do it, you know? So, yeah. Those are amazing. That's a, that's a perfect meal, too. Like, six six tacos. Goes down nice. Don't feel too full. And also, I checked taco shells. Six taco shells comes out to, like, 40 grams of carbs. So, that's a keto meal. Like, because I'm... I'm, I'm I'm OMAD, one meal a day fasted, keto right now. And to come under 50 carbs for a meal like that, like that's a delicious, amazing meal. That's That was like 40 carbs. So tacos are legit. I'm actually very happy that tacos and wings are both keto. As long as you do the wings right, of course can't bread them and you can't have all these sauces you gotta have buffalo and things like that but whatever like that's my favorite so anyways still sitting here ranting which i never usually do but god flow energy today anyhow till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true check out my merch store <laughs> you don't have to but if you want to please do okay peace